Hi everyone, my name is Saurabh Bansal. Today we are going to solve the problem of the day. The question name is longest prefix of strings. Okay, so let's start this question. So firstly, we will understand the question and then we will understand the approaches of the question. Then we will see the code of the question. Okay, so firstly, let's understand the question. So question name is longest common prefix of string. Okay, so now we all know that what is string. Now let's understand about prefix. Okay, so basically, uh, let's say this is a string. Geeks for geeks let's say this is a string okay if this is a string then the starting part is called a prefix starting part of the string is called prefix and the ending part let's say if this is going to be the part so this is the ending part so this is called the suffix okay so this is called the geek prefix okay the geeks starting part of this any string is called prefix and the ending part is called suffix so what we have to do is so we have to find the we have to find the we have to find the longest common prefix longest common prefix of strings okay let's say we they have given us the, these four strings geeks for geeks geeks geek and geezer okay so what is the longest common prefix meaning longest common in the starting okay longest common basically string in the starting okay let's understand so basically if we talk about this example okay let's take a a b and a c okay what is going to be the longest common prefix in this so a is common over here a is common over here a is common so the longest common prefix for this uh, strings are called a okay now let's talk about the example a b and c okay let's say this these are the string so what is common in between them so nothing is common in between them so for this case you have to return minus one so if we take the exam if we see the, this example as well so you can see over here that there is no common uh, prefix in the string so they are also returning minus one over here so this is also going to be a edge case okay kind of a edge case basically so now what we have to do over here is so let's understand on this example as well so let's say they have given us a string like this geeks for geeks geeks geek and geezer so firstly you can see over here that geek is common over here geek is common over here geek is common over here but geek is not present over here okay so what is common in between that if you if you see clearly if you see it very clearly, then you can see G double E G G double E G G double E G double E is common in all the strings. So the longest common prefix over here is G double E. So this is going to be our answer. Okay. So this is going to be our answer. Okay. So I hope the question is very much clear to everyone. So now what is going to be the approach to solve this question? How we can find this? Okay. So now what is going to be the brute force approach? So let's talk about the brute force approach. Okay. So firstly, if you are a good programmer, then firstly find out what is the brute force approach going to be of a question. Okay. So basically in this part, what is going to be the brute force? So brute force can be, firstly, we will compare the first letter of each of this, each of the strings. Okay. So first letter is G. Similarly, the first letter is a G also. First letter is G also. First letter is G. So G is common between all these strings so i will add in my answer g, g part okay then i will compare all the first characters okay basically it's a zeroth character then it is going to be a first character it is going to be the first character so i will compare all the first. e same same and same e is same in all the strings so i will put e as well now what is going to be the next so we will also compare the next character okay e is called same 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 so we will also implement so we will also add e one more then then if we go and search for the next character k is common k is common k is common but k is not common in this part so k is not common in all the strings so now you can see over here that we have this g uh, as answer okay if you have like encountered a mismatch encountered a mismatch or a different character okay then you have to then this is going to be your answer but but if you will see this approach so this approach is a brute force approach why because if there are a lot of strings then you have to like go for a lot if you have like a lot of strings over here like a lot of strings over here in this example so then there is going to be a lot of iterations you have to do okay now what is going to be the optimized approach let's understand the optimized approach as well for this same example okay the first is going to be geeks for geeks geeks for geeks then it has been geeks then it is going to be geek then we have the geezer okay let's understand in the same example geezer okay so this is the example now what is going to be the optimized approach 
okay what is going to be the optimized approach so what if what if i just do the sort of this array sort of the array what if i just sort the array now when you just sort this this whole array now this after sorting this array is now going to be converted in this form okay firstly i think this will come like geek then it would come like geeks then geeks for geeks it would come like this geeks for geeks and then the geezer would come so now how this sort sorting happens okay firstly let's understand this okay let's understand this how this when you will sort how this sorted array will look like because gee is same for everyone so it it can't be like sort according to this thing but after this we have the k in common so k is also common over it but z so uh, k comes before so k uh, z comes after the z okay k uh, z comes after k that's why it has put an on the last okay now let's compare it. so if there is no character so it is mean so it is going to be the first but s s is going to be same over these so they are at same level but after this for f it is not present so it is going on the third part okay now after sorting after sorting what you have to do is after sorted after this array is sorted now you can see over here now you can see over here that if we just compare the first and last string first and last string okay now if we just compare the first and last string then we can get the basic idea of the uh, prefix the longest common prefix now you can see over here if you just compare this geek and geezer geezer if we just compare both these two strings okay now you can see the three characters are in common and this is going to be the answer and this is also going to be the answer as well okay so this thing we have done in our in our questions as well okay so let's understand the code of this thing so firstly i have put in a base case that is going to be if array dot length equals to equals to one if array is only one string then this is going to be the longest common prefix because the whole string is going to be our answer so firstly i have used in the edge case then i have sorted the array for the sorting the array i have used a pre-written method that is called arrays dot sort so i have sorted the array then i have taken the first string as s1 then the second string as s okay after this i have taken a answer string okay now i have taken two variables x and y because x and y are going to be the starting point of these two strings okay if x is less than s1 dot length okay because uh, if the length is not completed like uh, see if this is the example okay if the first string is a and the second string is a b c then we have to just compare till the first character that's why i have using the length part so length and y dot length so we have to use this kind of thing over here okay so then i am comparing this s1 dot caret x s1 dot caret y if this characters are same if the characters are same then we have to increase the x and also i am adding that answer the character to the answer variable okay so that's how i am doing this now what i have done over here is if the characters are not same i am breaking through the loop meaning i am escaping the loop okay if answer dot length meaning the this length the length of this string if it is zero meaning there is no no nothing is common so i'm returning minus one but as a string okay it is given in the question as well okay if it is not then i'm returning the answer okay so this is kind of my approach okay let's try to run this code okay so let's try to submit it okay so the question is submitted i hope it is very clear to everyone thank you for watching this video